Hello all, Jamie Rogers here today for a very quick video with a lovely set of dies by Sue Wilson. We're going to be playing around with some of the floral panel dies. Now first of all we need a self-adhesive piece of card. So I've used a self-adhesive sheet, I've placed it onto a piece of card and I've removed the top layer. I'm now using some polished silk glitter from Cosmic Shimmer over the top of it. This is our lilac colour. Now these glitters are incredible because they are so ultra fine that once we have placed them over the card they're so delicate we can actually stamp on top of them. They're also really good for using over the top of double-sided tape to make borders, foam tape to give some definition to borders, or of course you could mix them into other products such as clear texture paste and things like that too. They're just a really sparkly, very delicate glitter. Now once I've got my panel sorted, I'm going to start die cutting into this and I'm going to be using the largest flower head from in the mini Cosmos set of flowers by Sue Wilson. So that set actually has six different dies in it and I'll give you a little flash of the set shortly but there's six different dies in that one set and they're all broke up into little panels and you've got leaves and different sized flower heads and decorations to make up the most stunning detailed mini flowers now as i mentioned i'm going to be using the largest flower head from in that set and this die this panel die that they're on will actually cut 10 flower heads for you in one pass through the machine now i'm going to use my vasen creative die cut release tool to just poke these out now these tools are lovely because at one end they've got a little roller at the other end they have a pokey tool and they also have a burnishing tool and both of those extra tools come down on little push buttons so if you're carrying it around in your case you don't have to have them poking out now this is our mini cosmos set as i mentioned six dies in that one we're then going to be using our lovely buttercup floral panels die set from sue wilson and we're going to be using just the set of dies on the right hand side of that die set now if i nest them together like i have here that's how they're actually going to come in your packaging but if you wish to break them up and use them slightly differently you can do you have an outside frame die which is the one i'm going to be cutting out in white this will stay solid unless we use the edge that is on the right hand side of the plates at the moment around the delicate die so you could cut it open as a window if you wish to or you can leave it solid as i have here with our other side i've used the outside edge and i've used our delicate panel so again lots of versatility here between the three dies and how you can use them once that's gone through you're going to see that we have that black edge running around our lovely floral panel now i'm going to go in with some scissors and just trim this out so i have a freestanding element of our lovely foliage now these are really delicate so you can bend these and form them beautifully so maybe you'd like to shape this round to make a reef or a border or a corner you could also add these pieces into all of your different floral displays pretty much throughout the whole of the year because this floral leafy set is just beautiful for any time any season now when this one cuts it will also deboss little details onto the leaves it sort of sinks in a little trough in the middle of every single leaf so i'm going to go ahead with a quickie glue pen and i'm going to fill in each of them little troughs with some glue and that's perfect because it means we can add on top aurora flakes gilding flakes glitters or anything of those similar styles to add some really nice detail onto these leaves now i'm nearly at the end of my one here um, but of course it wouldn't have to be a quickie glue pen you could be painting in these you could be coloring them with your alcohol markers with your pencils whatever you wish to be doing now because we was working with our cosmic shimmer um, polished silk glitter earlier i thought we'd bring some more of this in and this time it's the hunter green color that i have sprinkled over the top I can then lift out my die cut and as you can see I have got the loveliest little green areas on top of my black die cut. I love it when we put glitter on top of black cardstock because it just somehow sparkles even more than you might imagine. Now once I've got the glitter put back in the pot I'm going to go in and just with my fingers I'm shaping these leaves up so I've got a little bit of dimension. I'm then going to turn it over and I'm going to use some Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue that I've decanted into an ultra fine woodware bottle and I'm just going to add that going down the stem of the foliage branch. I'm then going to place that down onto the panel that we started with and I'm going to bring in my mini Cosmos flowers. Now I'm just going to add a couple of these because if you don't want to watch me stick hundreds of these on but I'm just going to stick a couple of these on and I'm just going to form them and then I'm going to offset them one inside the other and we'll just do two of these so that they're down and looking good and then I'll show you how those two look and I will bring in a panel that I've already created earlier. 
Now, when we get onto our card blank in a second, the card blank I have used is six and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. The black panel is six and a half inches by six and a half inches. And the white panel is six and a quarter inches by six and a quarter inches. And then on top of that, I've taken one of the panels from the edge die, um, the, the background panel, I've cut that and I've laid that down, going vertically down my card. I've then bought in the one that I've added my flowers onto and my leaves, and I've stuck that going horizontally across the card. I then added on a little butterfly, and I'm now gonna add on Sending Lots of Happiness, which is one of the mini expression dies by Sue Wilson. I'm gonna use my Cosmic Shimmer Glue on the top of my hand. Be careful if you do this, do do a patch test before you go applying too much of it to your skin, just in case you're allergic. And then I'm gonna place my die cut down in the left hand corner. Very simple, very quick, very easy card to create with the stunning die sets from Sue Wilson and some Cosmic Shimmer Glitter. And of course, that is our lovely polished silk glitter. All of the products I've shared with you today are available from all good creative expression stockists. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.